Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. So for today's video, it's going to be very simple. It's just going to be me going over the Stephen King short story book club and the next book that we're going to be reading for the book club, which of course is Everything's Eventual by Stephen King. We'll be starting Everything's Eventual on Monday, January 16th. But before I get into this book, let's go ahead and talk about the book club in general. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you guys aren't aware of the Stephen King Short Story Book Club, it's essentially a book club that I started over on my Discord, the Bookish Drummer Discord, where basically we started with, with Night Shift and we started just reading one to two short stories a week. And basically the goal is to read all of Stephen King's published short stories. And like I said, we started with Night Shift all the way back in 2021, I believe. And we had a really great time with it. This is my all-time favorite Stephen King short story collection. And like I said, we basically just read one to two short stories a week. And we started with Night Shift, which went very well. And then we next we did A Skeleton Crew, which also went very well. One of his better ones. And then the one that we just concluded is actually Nightmares and Dreamscapes. And this one took quite a long time to actually complete because... It's chunky. It's like almost 700 pages. This is honestly probably my least favorite of the collections so far. I know a lot of people loved a lot of the stories in here, but for me, it was more of a mixed bag, and I'm glad that we're actually done with it. But basically for the book club, all you have to do is come join the Bookish Drummer Discord, and there will be a schedule posted for Everything's Eventual, which I can probably actually post right here. So... If you're interested in joining, all you have to do is join the Bookish Drummer Discord and read along with us. Every week I will post a separate channel for all of the stories and we can chat about it. And usually at the end of each week, I post a poll to kind of gauge like what everyone thinks about the stories, whether they loved it, they hated it, or thought that it was meh, or what just wasn't for them. It's a lot of fun to get people's reaction because I've, re I've read all of these short stories in the past, but it's been a blast going back and reading them and definitely gauging what people think of them. It's really fun when like I love a certain story and everyone hates it or I'm just kind of meh about it, but a lot of people seem to love it. It's very interesting and it's very engaging. So if you guys are at all interested in the book club, go join the Book of Drummer Discord. I'll have a link down for it below. It's a lot of fun. And like I said, we are starting Everything's Eventual Monday, January 16th, and the basic schedule is one short story or novella a week. There are some novellas in here. I think there's like three or four of them, but we're planning on just reading them one a week anyway. Hopefully you guys are good with that. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think this is definitely a big improvement on Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Like I've said, it's probably my least favorite collection and just in general, one of my least favorite uh, King Books, it, it does have some really good stories in it, but overall, it's just more of a mixed bag. I think for Everything's Eventual, while there aren't a lot of, like, heavy hitters with this one necessarily, there are some really good ones, but I think this is just more of a solid collection. Like, none of the stories in here are, like, top tier, I would say. Like, like Night Shift and Skeleton Crew, a lot of those would be, like, top 10 material. Like, some of the best King short stories ever... But for Everything's Eventual, I wouldn't necessarily say that. But also at the same time, there's not a lot of really bad ones in here. Like even Skeleton Crew, like even though that is one of his better collections, it's got some it's got some stinkers in there. Like some ones that are just not that great. Same thing with Nightmares and Dreamscapes. A lot of those are kind of forgettable or just meh or even bad. <laughs> but this one I think is pretty steady throughout. I think everyone should have a great time with this and hopefully they find some new favorite Stephen King short stories. I also think the structure of the short story collection is interesting. Uh, on the table of contents page, he kind of gives like a little explanation for how he um, chose to order the stories. Basically, he says, 
What I did was take all the spades out of a deck of cards plus a joker. Ace to king equals 1 to 13, joker equals 14. I shuffled the cards and dealt them. The order in which they came out of the deck became the order of the stories based on their position in the list my publisher sent me. And it actually created a very nice balance between the literary stories and the all-out screamers. So that's pretty interesting. There are, and again, there are 14 stories in here. So that's a pretty fun way to do it, just kind of random ass like that. And uh, yeah. Also, either at the beginning or the end of all of the stories in here, King kind of gives like a one-page summary of like his thoughts on the story or like where his headspace was at when he was writing it or why he chose to write it. Just just like random notes about the story. And I, I love when authors do that. And King uh, definitely has some good moments in here of doing that. So all 14 stories have like little side notes of, you know, King's thoughts on all the stories. And flipping through the table of contents, there are some stories that I'm very excited for. Like the first story that we're going to be starting on January 16th is possibly my favorite short story in the collection. Maybe not novella, but a short story, definitely. Uh, Autopsy Room 4 is awesome. It's it's definitely more of like a, a black comedy, and the, and the ending to the story is hilarious. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, there are some ones that are... Uh, that I don't quite remember, or I don't remember all the details for, but I know that they're good. Um, like, The Man in the Black Suit, I think, won some sort of award, and it's supposed to be a lot of people's favorite Stephen King short story. That's after Autopsy Room 4, so definitely looking forward to that. And like I said, there are a few novellas in here that are exceptional. Uh, Everything's Eventual, the title novella, is very good. You also have 1408, which, of course is what the movie with, uh, oh god, what's that guy's name? I can't remember the actor's names, but it was, the, the movie is based on the novella, and it's a pretty good Stephen King adaptation. So if you've seen the movie but haven't read the novella, it's in here. Also, uh, That Feeling, you can only say what it is in French. Uh, that's a very good short story. Lucky Quarter is very good. Riding the Bullet is another very good Stephen King novella. Uh, Launch at the Gotham Cafe, good short story. I also do want to point out that one of the novellas in here is a Dark Tower novella, and it, it can be tricky because technically it's a prequel to The Gunslinger, but it also spoils events that happen in book four, Wizard and Glass. So if you're at all interested in The Dark Tower, but you haven't read up to book four, you have not finished Wizard and Glass, I would... Uh, heavily advise that you do not read the novella because it spoils the events in book four. Which sounds weird when I try to describe it to people because it's a prequel novella. It takes place before book one, but since Wizard and Glass is a flashback book to Roland's past, it, it the novella spoils Wizard and Glass. So it takes place after book four, but before book one. It's a shit show, but <laughs> it, it's a pretty fun novella. So I would either say if you're not a Dark Tower fan, you could probably skip this one or you could try it out just to see if you would care at all about Roland because it's of course about Roland. But if you're at all interested in the Dark Tower and you haven't read Wizard and Glass, I would say skip it for now until you finish Wizard and Glass and then come back to it and see what you think. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention about the schedule, like I said, we are going to be doing one short story or novella a week. But if you see in April, we're basically not going to read any short stories in April. That's because me and Stacy are planning a readathon on the Book of Stormer Discord all throughout April. It'll be a month long readathon. <laughs> oh God, readathon! <laughs> a month long readathon, sort of like uh, Stephen the Stephen King readathon that we did in October. It'll be a month long, and it'll be a sort of a similar setup to where. You can gain points for your team, or you can take away points from other teams. Although it will not be another Stephen King readathon, we will be doing a music themed readathon. And we have it pretty much set up. We just have to finish finalizing the prompts and um, coming up with all the graphics and stuff. We've already got team captains set up, but we just have to finalize everything. And then probably sometime in March, we'll let y'all know what exactly it is, because I think it's going to be awesome, and I'm definitely looking forward to showing all that. 
But yeah, essentially for April, we're going to put the short story book club on pause because, of course, you can't really get points for, uh, you know, a little bit of a short story collection and short stories don't count. So we're going to pick that back up in May. And I think the last date is like in mid-May, we're going to finish that off. And then, of course, after we finish everything's eventual, uh, I'll probably do a ranking for the short stories in here. I didn't do one for Nightmares and Dreamscapes because most of those, or just a lot of those, I didn't really care for anyway. But I know for this one, it'll be much simpler and efficient to rank these because I'm pretty sure I'm going to like all of them or most of them. So that'll be good. And then, of course, after that, starting in June, we're probably going to bounce back with The Bizarre Bad Dreams, which I don't know why I'm doing. I have the book. Where is it? And actually, that's not even the next collection. I'm a liar. <laughs> uh, the next one is Just After Sunset. So we'll probably start this in June. And I think there's like 12 or 13 stories in here. So hopefully it won't take that long. And hopefully we can finish it before October, which me and Stacy are probably going to reprise the October, uh, I'm sorry, the Stephen King readathon in October. So yeah, and then after that will be uh, Bizarre Bad Dreams, which will probably, uh, I don't know, maybe start that in 2024. Good God, <laughs> this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I started this in late 2021. Oh man, but it's been a lot of fun. Like I love the, the slow approach to this, just reading like one to two short stories a week. And I think a lot of people enjoy it too because they can just get like a dash of Stephen King every week and they don't feel bombarded to read giant Stephen King novels every month, right? I know some book clubs do that. So yeah, I, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait to get started on everything's eventual, eventually <laughs> uh, on Monday and just to get everyone's reactions out of the short stories. All right, so what did everyone think of this video? Are you interested in joining the Stephen King Short Story Book Club and starting Everything's Eventual with us on Monday, January 16th? If you are uh, and you're already in the Discord, uh, good. But if you're not in the Discord, I'll have the link down below so you can come join us for the book club. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and the Book of Stormer Discord where you can go check out the book club. I also have my Patreon page if you want to support me there. I have my Amazon wish list if you'd like to buy me some books. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic doodly day. All right, so what did everyone think of... Oh, God. I'm dripping. <laughs>